In the next 5 minutes I'm gonna give you 5 tools which is literally everything you need to make content from scratch as a brand from planning, creating, editing and publishing for less than 50 bucks a month. If you don't think this is a sign, I don't know what you're waiting for. The one and only, the tool you need for planning and writing content, Notion. If you already use Notion, nice. And if you've never used Notion before, I'm about to make you very, very happy. When I was a kid, I used to love board games. And because my family didn't have much money, I got this massive box. There was a bunch of different games that I could play in just one big box. Notion is that box for your productivity online. Notion is the one thing that you will use from the beginning to the end of the whole process. And I'm going to tell you how I use it. From planning my ideas when I'm like on the go, I was going to say on the shower. No, I don't have my phone on the shower. When I'm on the go, when I'm commuting or when I'm just like hanging out and I have an idea, I will open up Notion on my phone, write it down and like store it. On my writing day, I will sit down and write all my ideas on Notion with my templates that I use every time. And and then I will bring that to the shoots. So you may have seen me on any other video recording with my phone on my hand. What I actually have on my phone is Notion and I'm actually reading the script as I'm recording. So I also use boards and different ways to visualize your databases to track the progress of my content, especially if I'm working with my editor or if I'm working with my team, we can all be seeing them work in the same project together if necessary. When publishing, I store the clip, but then I can also track my results. The best thing about Notion for one person is free. And it's the one thing you need to get started. Over the last five years, making content for different tech companies, Typeform and other brands, and now making content for my own brand in this channel and TikTok, Instagram, and all the other platforms, I have been refining and developing a template that I call my content management system for Notion. If you're interested in getting that template, it's gonna be linked on the description. It's 26 bucks. You can actually help me a lot if you buy that template. It's not much money and it can actually, I can guarantee it will help you organize all the content and get started. I haven't actually really used Notion AI as much as I'd like to, because I've been like spending too much time with ChatGPT, but I actually would love to learn more. So are you using Notion AI? I would love to learn how you use it. If you have any ideas or if you're using Notion AI in interesting ways, please tell me in the comments. So what I'll do, I'll look at all the comments and the one that I find more useful, actually I'll give back to you and I'll give you my Notion template for free. ChatGPT is another tool that I use. The way I use it is like if I'm like brainstorming with someone. I don't ask it to write my entire script, but maybe I ask it to like develop a section and like give me new ideas. So it's not like super up with trends and stuff like that. It will do like the hard work of like thinking of the topic and developing farther. So then you can pick different things and like make it your own. So I also made a video with Chris Doe and actually him and I were talking about the title of the video and he actually used ChatGPT to write the title of the video and I honestly think the title of that video is brilliant. I was actually trying to brainstorm to find a better title and I like I was unsuccessful. And when you have all of this, then you can use the Hemingway app. It's basically a tool that tells you how complex your writing is. So you can dumb it down for the internet basically and make it very simple. So Hemingway app is free and will help you communicate your message with ease. So you have Notion, you've been writing your scripts and making them simple, and now it's time to record. And you'll be like, oh yeah, Anselino, but like you use your phone, right? Or your camera to record content. Yes and no, because there's one tool that I've been using to make my content. It's a piece of great software that I've been using and it's Riverside. Riverside will allow you to record content with your camera on your computer, but it also allows you to record people remotely, right? So it's great for a podcast. You will just send them a link, you jump on the call, and then you can record the conversation locally on their device. After the recording ends, the software will upload everything to the cloud and then you'll get the great quality on your laptop. Which means if you have shit connection or something goes wrong, you're good. <laughs> I use Riverside all the time in many different ways. Even when I need to record on my own and I'm actually starting to use for meetings and stuff like that because the quality is just so good. And then they have this starter pack for like 15 bucks a month where you can record five hours with no other mark and I think it's 4K quality. This video is not sponsored by any of these platforms. So this is literally the tools that I use and that I love that I'm sharing with you to speed up your content. So I introduced Riverside as a recording tool, but there's more. They just introduced the new Riverside 
website which allows you to edit in different formats so i think they have vertical square and horizontal for like the different platforms they have ai that will edit a version of the video putting on like the shot whoever was talking this is actually saves a lot of time if you're doing a podcast you already have like an edited version of the thing without doing nothing if so if you decide to try any of these tools i do have affiliate links on the description below so use these links because you'll be supporting this channel i'll get a little cut if you subscribe at zero cost to you yay and without realizing we're already on the editing section so i use adobe i pay for like the year subscription and it's the best thing adobe is one of my favorites but i have to say if you're just getting started might be a little bit on the pricey end of the range and i promise you in five minutes five tools for 50 bucks so we're not gonna talk about adobe in this video because that would blow up our budget we're gonna talk about CapCut. This tool might be a little controversial because it's also from ByteDance, the company that owns TikTok. And you know, TikTok is like a hot topic now because, you know, US ban and stuff like that. CapCut, it's actually a really smart tool. I think this whole CapCut thing is a marketing strategy from ByteDance to get people to be more comfortable with editing and content creation. And so they made this incredibly amazing editing tool for smartphones, iPads and stuff like that. And it's completely free. I absolutely love it for content that you're gonna do on the go. It's super, super useful. It's designed to be easily synced with TikTok. You can find trending audios, you can upload directly to TikTok. So it's actually a really, really cool tool that I recommend you check it out. We love free stuff, don't we? If you're putting videos out, you might need some music. So even if you're a small brand entrepreneur and you're just like putting out like stupid like videos, I'll make sure you own the rights of your music if you don't want to get in trouble. How do you do that? Oh my God, this is so expensive, a lot of work. No, there's actually a really cool tool that I've been using forever and that I love. They have great music, great sound effects. It's Epidemic Sound and it's fantastic. I absolutely love Epidemic Sound. I use it every month for my videos. The music that I'm putting on this video is Epidemic Sound and I really recommend you check it out. Epidemic Sound is 15 bucks a month if you pay monthly. So we're already at like 30 bucks per month. So we still have 20 more left in our little budget for content creation this month. Okay, listen to this. I'm making this video because I want every single brand to make content because I want to get rid of traditional advertisement. And to do that, I need every brand to be making content and learning how to make content. So because this video is all about five, for the next five days, I'll give one of you who subscribe to the channel 50 bucks and you have one month of like all these tools for free and it's on me all right so don't think the content is done when you already have finished the editing and all that stuff one of the most important parts is packaging and publishing there's a couple tools that i'm gonna give you to that are gonna make this very very smooth one of the ai tools that i actually use for my thumbnails is mid journey so i use it for backdrops and stuff like that or even like brainstorm ideas or concepts now i'm using the journey because i don't have adobe firefly but i'm actually really looking forward to get that one so i mean i might make a video if you're interested about it when it comes out because i think it's gonna be pretty fucking cool once you have your thumbnail and then your title then you might have to choose chat gpt to optimize then i put all of this in thumbs up thumbs up is a really cool website that's for free hopefully for a while that allows you to visualize how the thumbnail and title will look on youtube so this is specifically for youtube and it's the best thing ever because you'll see where the title breaks if the thumbnail looks good or not you get an idea a pre-visualization of the whole packaging thing before you put it out so i use this like every single time i make a new video new thumbnail i would recommend you do like a couple thumbnails with different ideas so you can test it and to a b test thumbnails and titles i actually use now a tool called thumbnail test so i only started using thumbnail test last week for my most recent video so i cannot really speak that much about it but i'm actually already seeing some differences when i'm testing different titles and thumbnails it'll allow you to just test titles so you like test different titles against the original it allow you to test different thumbnails against the original and what i think is really cool you can test combinations of titles and thumbnails you can do this for any single video so i'm actually 
actually going back to my channel and I'll redesign some thumbnails with the things that I know now about packaging and try to see if we can get extra views from videos that are already flat from like last year or something like that. So I really recommend you get one of these tools to test thumbnails and titles because this can actually get spikes in views like I'm seeing already. Thumbnail text is actually 20 bucks a month so it increases our budget to the 50 bucks that I said that we'd be spending for content creation every month. But none of this is useful if you don't have the most important thing that you need when making content, an idea. How do we actually make sure that the time and effort we put in our content is worth it and that our ideas are going to be relatable? Well, if that sounds like you and you could use some help here, I recommend you watch this video next where I'll share the strategy I've been using for the last three months to post consistently on every platform with just 30 minutes a day. Then I actually got me one video to go viral with over 2 million views when I only had 179 followers. Check it out.